Hello class. Welcome back to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I'm so very glad that you are here to practice math with me today. Today we are going to be practicing some and some more stories or some adding word questions. I thought that we would use some of the beautiful and yummy things that we found yesterday when we were out in my garden. Let's take a closer look. When we were in the garden yesterday, we picked some beautiful and yummy flowers and strawberries. And I thought that we could use our strawberries and our flowers to tell some stories today. When I went picking strawberries, I found two bright red berries. Then my son Jonathan found one more strawberry. How many strawberries did we find all together? Three, you are right. That was an easy one. When we tell some and some more stories, we have some and then we add some more. Jonathan and I had three yummy strawberries. And then when we looked under the leaves, we found two more. How many strawberries do we have now? That's right, we have five. We had some and then we found some more. When we are acting out some and some more stories, we can use objects or pictures to help us understand the question. Now we have five strawberries and I found one more. We had some and then we added some more. Some and some more stories are adding. Well, what if we used some of those pretty flowers from yesterday? I was picking some pansies and I picked one, two, three, four, four pretty pansies. Then I found some sweet chamomile. One, two, three, four chamomile flowers. How many flowers did I have all together? Four plus four. I found eight flowers all together. When we do our some and some more stories, we can act them out or we can draw pictures to help us understand the question. Some and some more stories are for adding. I hope that you have some fun creating and acting out some and some more stories. Class, thank you so very much for practicing math with me today. Today, we practiced some and some more stories. And I want you to create some and some more stories as well. What items are you going to use? What math stories are you going to tell? I hope that you have a wonderful time playing and practicing with math. Have a great day class. Bye-bye.